The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heed the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call on sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of the Kings. The king of Assyria invaded the whole country and, coming to Samaria, led siege to it for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria captured Samaria and deported the Israelites to Assyria. He settled them in Hala on the Hebar, a river of Gozan, and in the cities of the Medes. This happened because the Israelites had sinned against the Lord their God, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the drip of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. They worshipped other gods, they followed the practices of the nations that the Lord had dispossessed for them. And yet, through all the prophets and all the seers the Lord had given Israel and Judah this warning, Turn from your wicked ways and keep my commandments and my law in accordance with the entire law I laid down for your fathers and deliver to them through my servants the prophets. But they would not listen. They were more stubborn than their ancestors had been who had no faith in the Lord their God. They despised his laws and the covenant he had made with the, their ancestors and the warnings he had given them. For this the Lord was enraged with Israel and thrust them away from him. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. The word of the Lord. The response is, Hear us, O Lord, and help us. Hear us, O Lord, and help us. O God, you have rejected us and broken us. You have been angry. Come back to us. Hear us, O Lord, and help us. You have made the earth quake, torn it open. Repair what is shattered for it sways. You have inflicted hardship on your people and made us drink a wine that dazed us. Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our enemies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to your Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not judge and you will not be judged because the judgment you give is the judgment you will get, and the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given. 
Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice a plank in your own? How dare you say to your brother, let us take the splinter out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own? Hypocrite, take the plank out of your own eye first, and then you will see clearly enough to take the splinter out of your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus taught us to be sincere with God our Father and with one another. Let us now pray to the Father for ourselves and for all mankind in sincerity of heart the church that she might be the leaven of love and forgiveness in the world, the Lord hear us. Lord, For those who have been entrusted with worldly authority, they might use it to further peace and harmony in the world, the Lord hear us. Lord, and we pray for all our own intentions. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all who have, have, have died. Remember those whose anniversaries are today, Agnes Kelly and Danny O'Neill. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we believe in you. Make us always attentive to the voice of your Spirit in our hearts. Grant all the prayers we have made with faith in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its actions we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word for whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the point of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Damon our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her venerable spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we, de we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he does not enter temptation, but delivers an evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you that you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I cry unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you I come before you I need, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Wash your hands. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And 